No, I'm excited. Yeah? Thanks, man. Uh, yes. well, land of the... Dreams. Home of the... <laughs> this shy 18 year old man here is able to grow into this. That's your 21 year old. You alright? <laughs> um, I wanted to do a love poem. Uh, I wanted it to be cool. So I put dinosaurs in it. I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough. Because when people say I love you, it can mean a lot of stuff like I'll always have your back, or I'm glad I'm not alone. Or to be honest, I'd say anything, so you'll hang up the phone because I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. <laughs> <laughs> and these Doctor Who box sets ain't gonna watch themselves. <laughs> I love you, but it seems it's not enough because when people say I love you, it can mean a lot of stuff. And what I'm really trying to say is. I love you <laughs> like a T-Rex <laughs> with a tiny brain but a massive heart and if it was a T-Rex I could hold you in my T-Rex arms and protect you from heart because that's dinosaur love <laughs> it's the way that you send spines down my spine like a stegosaurus or I just like dinosaurs no one cares what came before us because I got that love so big it cannot be ignored like if you were the dinosaur Everything else seems secondary. Dinosaurs are not mythical creatures, they are legendary plus. Mm. They're just really cool. <laughs> Dinosaurs are kinda awesome, more than like they actually existed, yes, my love is real. I ain't talking blindly walking strings attached like Theseus. That's Minotaur love. <laughs> well, this is dinosaur love. This ain't no damsel in distress, track princess, dragon slaying quest, cause one, dragons never happen to. Most women don't need rescuing. <laughs> Triceratops are terrifying, pterodactyls tear and terror from above, it's dinosaur love. Molten <laughs> rock and meteor, it's shocking you, I've got a love so old school, it's prehistoric. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're into Spielberg, or hip hop with a classic vibe, then we could watch Jurassic Park or listen to Jurassic Five. Oh. 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 If you like a bone, <laughs> then I know a place where we could see him. I'm a lifetime member of the Natural History Museum. <laughs> <laughs> So instead I'm happy to that state in my head or it cannot go wrong. And if as time goes on, my dying or love dies out as you'd expect when it's extinct or rather that we remained friends and became exes. But if somehow, against the odds, my dying or love proves so colossal that it stands the test of time perfectly preserved like a fossil, then one day, when you've been left in ruins, I need someone to help excavate through a romantic and archaeological expert for you towards me. And at the point I point out, you're like a brachiosaurus. Because yeah. there's no one above you. Then I'll be able to look you in the eyes and say...
plan. One day I'm gonna get a camera. And I'm gonna just aim it at the audience. So when she's like, oh, I'm having a <laughs> 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 one more time for Harry, please, everybody.